This is Asif Rahmani with SharePointELearning.com. The audience targeting concept in SharePoint lets you target content to a particular set of people. The content being targeted can be a web part, it can be a navigational item, or even a list item. The target of this content can be an individual, a SharePoint group, a distribution list, security group, or even a global audience, which by the way are created using the Shared Services Administration. Audience targeting is sometimes confused with the SharePoint security mechanism. That's a very big mistake to confuse the two of them. Just because you target some content to, let's say, audience A and not audience B, that does not mean that you are securing this content from audience B. The content will not be pushed to audience B, but if you have an audience member, audience B member, who knows the location of the content and navigates to it, the content will be visible to her. I will present an example of that in this demo. So in this screencast, I'm going to focus on targeting web parts to an audience. I will show you how you can configure the advanced properties of a web part to target it to a particular audience. Okay, so here's what I want to do. Here's my portal homepage, uh, the portal homepage that comes with any portal when you make it using the collaboration portal site template. What I want to do is take these two web parts, the I need to web part and the employee lookup web part, and target them to different audiences. So let's verify these are web parts to begin with. If I go to site actions and edit page, it should show me all the different web part zones and then web parts within these zones. So the I need to web part and the employee lookup web, part, web parts are both in the right zone. What I want to do, as I mentioned before, is take this web part, the I need to web part, and target it to a particular audience. Now, an audience could be a SharePoint group, a distribution list, an Active Directory group, or it could be an actual individual. What I want to do first is show you an Active Directory group here that I have. It's called AW Marketing. When I double click on this and open it up, it shows me under the Members tab that Bob Smith is the only member right now of this group, of the AW Marketing group. All right. Here we go. Now back in our web part, uh, I'm going to click on Edit, Modify Shared Web Part. The task pane should show, show up now. And I'm going to go to the Advanced section here, go all the way to the bottom. And in here, here's the Target Audiences text box here. I can click on the Browse icon and then search for uh, here's different options, global audiences, distribution, security groups, or SharePoint groups. What, I was, what I'm looking for right now is a security group, and that's called AW Marketing. So I'll just type in AW, click on Search. It found it, and it shows me there's only one member of this group. I'm going to add this group, click on OK, and then click OK here. All right, and before I publish this page, what I also want to do is take the employee lookup web part and then publish this, uh, target this to a different audience. I'm going to take you to my people and groups security here, site settings, people and groups, and show you that in the collaboration portal members group, the collaboration portal members SharePoint group, there's only one member right now, it's Frank Lee. So what I want to do, coming back to my AdventureWorks homepage, let's get, put this back in edit page mode. I'm going to take the employee lookup web part, modify its properties, And once again, here I'm going to put in collaboration portal members. Let's verify this is correct by clicking on this icon. All right, and click OK. OK, so at this point in time, I'm still logged in as myself, Asif Ramani. 
and I see the I need to web part and I see the employee lookup web part. Great. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on publish. Let's see what happens. So I'm publishing this page and after it's published neither of these web parts are exposed to me. And uh, I currently, Asif Ramani, I am the super user, the ad super administrator of this site. And even then, these web parts which have not been targeted to me are not available to me and I can't see them. Of course, as I showed you earlier, that if I do go to the edit page mode, then I can see both of these web parts. But I can't see them in a published manner. So it's not secured from me, but they're just not pushed to me. They're not targeted to me. Okay, so let's see what happens when I have somebody else log in. Let's log in as log in as Bob. So Bob Smith, who's part of the AW Marketing Group, can in fact see the I need to web part. Okay. Now let's log in as a different user. Frank. Frank Lee is part of the Collaboration Portal members group and he can see the employee lookup web part and not the other one. But because Frank Lee is also a member of the site in terms of security, he can just as easily go to site actions and edit page and see here that Frank is able to see the I need to web part and the employee lookup web part and he's just a member of the site. So as you can see now that this SharePoint security is not governed by audience targeting. They're two separate concepts altogether. You use audience targeting to push content, but not to secure content. This screencast showed how the audience targeting concept in SharePoint can be used to target information that's relevant to one group of people, but might not be to another. Using this concept, you can decrease overload of information to people and present only information useful to them. Lastly, keep in mind that if you, want, if you want to secure information, then you should use the SharePoint security mechanisms and not audience targeting. This has been a presentation of SharePointELearning.com.